afternoon. My name's Damien Egan from Ocean Protect and today I'm going to show you how we maintain a jellyfish stormwater filtration system. This particular system is a 900 by 900 and it's got two of our 686 millimeter deep cartridges in it. So the first step is that I've taken off the lid or the cover and the first step is to undo the undo the lids. So we take the lids off. You can see the jellyfish cartridges in here. And the first step is to bring the cartridges out. What we need to do is we need to undo each of the tentacles and wash them out. We're going to wash them out over the maintenance access wall. So as you can see, the tentacles have been doing their job. And hence that's why they're so dirty. So to do this cleaning, we just need a standard garden hose attachment. And we're going to clean that. Come in, have a look over this side of the maintenance access wall. Because this is where the dirty water enters and comes up through the filters and on its way having been cleaned. So now it's just a matter of holding off, holding and hosing off each one of the cartridges. Now we will reassemble the tentacles onto the cartridge, onto the head plate. So, as per the video for assembling the cartridge, it's the same process. So it's finger tight. The rubber O-ring that goes on top. Done them up finger tight, just tighten them up. Now that we've re reassembled the clean cartridges, we're going to hop back down and put them back into the uh, install them back into the pit. Right, so now we just have to reinsert the jellyfish cartridges. All that sediment that will wash down on this side of the maintenance access wall will settle down into the pit. We've already done a sludge check on this pit and there's only about four inches of sludge at the moment. So maybe in the next three, in another six months time, we might be able to empty some of that sludge if that's required. So to reinsert the cartridges, simply in reverse, 